From Pit to Palace The Remarkable Journey of Hazrat Yusuf Once upon a time, in the land of Canaan, there was a young boy named Yusuf who could see dreams that even the most imaginative screenwriters of today would envy. These weren't your average flying above the clouds or winning a football match dreams. No, Yusuf's dreams were dripping with symbolism, laden with prophecy, and destined to change his life forever. Moving forward with this video, I will request you not to forget to subscribe the channel, if not done earlier. Yusuf, the son of the prophet Yaqub, had a dream that set the stage for an extraordinary journey. One night, he dreamt of eleven stars, the sun and the moon all bowing down to him. Intrigued and slightly bewildered, Yusuf recounted the dream to his father. Yaqub, a prophet himself, immediately grasped the significance of the vision. He recognized it as a sign of Yusuf's future greatness, and warned his son not to share this dream with his brothers, for he knew their hearts harbored jealousy. Yusuf's brothers, already envious of the special affection their father showed him, grew increasingly resentful. They could not bear the thought of Yusuf's prominence. Driven by jealousy, they concocted a plan to get rid of him. Initially, they considered killing him, but ultimately decided to throw him into a well. They approached Yaqub, convincing him to let Yusuf accompany them on a supposed outing. Reluctantly, Yaqub agreed. Once they were far from home, the brothers seized Yusuf and cast him into a dry well. They returned to their father with Yusuf's shirt, stained with animal blood, claiming that a wolf had devoured him. Yaqub, heartbroken but sensing deceit, mourned the loss of his beloved son. Meanwhile, Yusuf was discovered by a passing caravan and sold into slavery. He was taken to Egypt and purchased by a high-ranking official, Al-Aziz. Despite his circumstances, Yusuf's innate nobility and integrity shone through. He grew up in Al-Aziz's household, earning the trust and respect of his master. As Yusuf matured into a handsome young man, he caught the eye of Al-Aziz's wife, Zuleika. Consumed by desire, she attempted to seduce him. Yusuf, steadfast in his faith and moral integrity, resisted her advances. Enraged by his rejection, Zuleika falsely accused Yusuf of assaulting her. This led to Yusuf's imprisonment, even though his innocence was evident to all but Al-Aziz chose to save his wife's honor. In prison, Yusuf's remarkable ability to interpret dreams came to light. He accurately interpreted the dreams of two fellow prisoners, the king's cupbearer and the king's baker. He predicted that the cupbearer would be reinstated and the baker executed, and his interpretations proved true. Yusuf asked the cupbearer to mention him to Pharaoh upon his release, but the cupbearer forgot, leaving Yusuf to languish in prison for several more years. Years later, Pharaoh himself had two troubling dreams. In one, he saw seven fat cows being devoured by seven lean cows. In the other, he saw seven healthy ears of grain being swallowed by seven thin, scorched ears. None of Pharaoh's advisors could interpret these dreams. It was then that the cupbearer remembered Yusuf and suggested that Pharaoh consult him. Yusuf was brought before Pharaoh. With divine insight, he interpreted the dreams, explaining that Egypt would experience seven years of abundance, followed by seven years of severe famine. Yusuf advised Pharaoh to store surplus grain during the years of abundance to prepare for the years of famine. Impressed by Yusuf's wisdom and foresight, Pharaoh appointed him as a high-ranking official, placing him in charge of managing the country's resources. Under Yusuf's astute management, Egypt successfully stored enough grain to weather the impending famine. When the famine eventually struck, it affected not only Egypt but also neighboring regions, including Canaan. Yusuf's brothers, driven by desperation, traveled to Egypt to buy grain. They did not recognize Yusuf, who was now a powerful and respected figure, but he recognized them. He treated them with a mixture of kindness and shrewdness, testing their character through a series of interactions. Yusuf accused them of being spies, 
demanded they bring their youngest brother, Benjamin, as proof of their honesty. The brothers, fearful but desperate, returned to Canaan and persuaded their father to let Benjamin accompany them to Egypt. Yacoub, though deeply pained by the prospect, eventually agreed. When the brothers returned with Benjamin, Yusuf continued to test them. He planted a silver cup in Benjamin's sack and accused him of theft. The brothers, distressed and guilt-ridden, pleaded for Benjamin's release, even offering themselves in his place. Their genuine remorse and willingness to sacrifice themselves for Benjamin moved Yusuf. He could no longer contain his emotions and revealed his true identity to them. Overwhelmed with shame and relief, the brothers begged for Yusuf's forgiveness. Yusuf, embodying grace and forgiveness, reassured them. He attributed their actions to the divine plan and forgave them wholeheartedly. He then invited his entire family to Egypt, promising to take care of them during the remaining years of famine. Yaqub, overjoyed at the news of Yusuf's survival and success, journeyed to Egypt with the rest of the family. Upon their arrival, Yusuf was reunited with his father, and the family was finally whole again. They bowed before Yusuf in respect and gratitude, fulfilling the prophecy of his childhood dream. The eleven stars, the sun and the moon bowing down to him, symbolized his eleven brothers and his parents acknowledging his elevated status. Yusuf's story is a testament to the power of patience, perseverance, and faith. Despite the many trials and tribulations he faced, Yusuf remained steadfast in his faith and integrity. His journey from a beloved son to a slave, from a prisoner to a powerful ruler, illustrates the profound wisdom of divine providence. It highlights the importance of trusting in God's plan, maintaining moral integrity, and showing forgiveness even in the face of great adversity. Towards the end, I again remind you to like, share, and comment on the video, and also subscribe to the channel. In the end, Yusuf's rise to power was not just a personal triumph, but a means to save countless lives, including those of his family. His story, rich with lessons and moral guidance, continues to inspire and teach the virtues of patience, faith, and forgiveness. Thank you for watching.